Now it's time to place some photos in your story. So I've got my story and my, my headline. Let's place some photos. This one's probably the easiest out of everything. All you need to do is go to picture. Click on picture and it's going to take you to where you need to find your photos. Typically we'll be in the P drive and then we'll go down to um, on the left and find stuff there. But since I'm on my home computer, I'm just going to use pretend I'm in the P drive already. So you click the folder you want, go to the folder you want, and then find the photo you want. Now it's going to show up probably pretty big. So what you want to do is just click on the corner and resize your photo. Now that's up to you and how you designed your page, how big you want it. So if I scroll in, I'm going to then uh, readjust, line it up, leave those white spaces open, and make it go down. Once it's where I want it, I'm going to push it to the edge of the page. That way we can um, use all the space accordingly. Now the problem is I'm going to need some space for captions. So I'm going to probably want to crop this, and I can do that within the program. So if you click on the photo, we're going to do a couple things to it. Go up to Picture Tools Format. On the right side, you'll find Crop. And then what you'll do is you'll just click the little black line here and push it up like that. And then click off and I've cropped it. Now, to get our photo looking a little bit cleaner, I want you to go up to Picture Border, click on it, go to Weight, down to, one, down to a half a point. Click on it. And that just gives it a nice thin black border around it. Nothing you can really see, but it looks a lot better. And there's my photo. Now with every photo has a caption. So what you're going to do, much like a story, is click on the draw text box, draw it under the photo box, and then type up your caption. Then highlight the text, control A, go up to where you can change the font, and we're going to change it to Garamond, G-A-R-A, -A, and hit enter. There it is. Now, the only thing we're going to do differently is we'll keep it at size 10. We're going to italicize it, and there's my caption. Now, let's place another photo. Go back to picture. The folder should already be open where the photos are, and I'll place another one. Now, again, it's really big, so click on it and resize it. Now, let me show you. You want to make sure you're resizing it from the corner of the page of the photo. If you're not resizing it from the corner, this is what's going to happen. You're going to squeeze your photo and you're going to make it really unproportional. If you do that and you want to undo, you can click up here in the arrow and undo your edits. There you go. Or you can hit Control Z. Now something I forgot to do that I need to. Notice how the text is moving? I don't want that to happen. So I gotta make sure I'm in the Picture Tools tab. Go over the text wrap and hit none. Let's do that to my other photo. Text wrap, hit none. Even this text box down here, text wrap, hit none. I don't want anything to have a text wrap on it. Now I can readjust my photo accordingly without it messing with the text. Make it a little bit bigger, or a little bit smaller. And there you have it. Now I'm gonna move it over a little bit. I'm gonna go back to format, picture border, weight, half point. There you have it. And then I can place maybe a photo down here. So one more picture. There's another one. It's really big. So I'm going to zoom down and make it really small. So it fits right here. Ta-da. Now I need to uh, straighten things up. So zoom in. Scroll over. I want this photo to touch this blue line. So just nudge it over with your arrow key. And then this one in here, do you notice how it's just not quite straight? Just a little bit. If you click on one photo, hold shift and click on the other. What you can do is actually align them. Click align and we're going to align right. Ta-da! And now I'm going to give it a border. Picture border, weight, half a point. Now if I scroll back out, ta-da! There are my three photos for my story. They look good. Once my caption's written, I can copy paste, put it right here, and adjust the box like this. Now to make the text look a little bit better, I'm going to control A, and actually click this third option over align text right like that. So there's that caption. Typically we will put something like this top so the readers know that that caption goes with that photo and then put the cursor in there and hit enter and then you can put right and then type up your caption photo by Mr. Williams. Hit control A, go to text box, Go to hyphen, 
undo the hyphen, hit OK. And if you scroll up, there are my photos. Looking good.